How's it going? I'm Wes Kurtz. This is General Chemistry 2, Lab 5. Uh, titration for acetic acid in vinegar. I've got all my supplies here ready to go. I've got my titration experiment set up. And in my syringe here, I've got 10 milliliters of sodium hydroxide. Um, real quick, just kind of the purpose of this experiment is to figure out the concentration of my acetic acid solution. So, without further ado, let's get going. Um, I've already completed the first couple steps. It's, it's just setting up my, my titration experiment. Um, so, we'll start with step one. We're going to record the data table with the initial volume of NaOH or sodium hydroxide. I've already done that. I got about 9.9 .9 milliliters. Um, step two is use a graduated cylinder to measure exactly five milliliters of vinegar and pour it into the beaker. So I have my vinegar right here. And my graduated cylinder, measure out five milliliters. All right. Got five milliliters of my vinegar, and I'm pouring this into the beaker. Alright, next step is to add two drops of phenolphthalein solution. I hope I said that right. Phenolphthalein. So, so, two drops to the vinegar in the one, two. Done. Alright, and place the beaker with the vinegar sample. sample and the solution under the titrator. Open the stopcock and add only one drop of sodium hydroxide at a time to the water sample and be okay. So I'm gonna open up my stopcock here and add one drop of sodium hydroxide at a time to my sample in the beaker. After each drop, I'm going to gently swirl. There we go. Gently swirl the beaker. Observe the color for five seconds. Continue adding only one drop of sodium hydroxide at a time till the colorless vinegar changes pink or burgundy and remains that color for at least 30 seconds. So. Every time the drop hits the vinegar down there, it, it changes color for a, a split second, but then it it looks like it mixes in with the rest of the vinegar and, uh, and diffuses. Oh, 
All right, I think we're there now. So, after a long waited few minutes, you can see my vinegar has now turned pink or burgundy. Um, and it will sit here and watch it for 30 seconds, make sure it stays this color. Um, after that, I'm going to record how much NaOH sodium hydroxide was used by subtracting my final volume by my initial volume, obviously. And uh, then I'm going to save the titrator and, and repeat these steps. And then uh, I do it two more times, three, two more times actually, and record it all into my data table and put together my lab report and turn it in. Thank you.